everybody and welcome back to another fantastic episode of Mark Wars Movie Moment. Today we will be discussing a character I despise almost to an unreasonable level of hatred. Jurassic Park is a wonderful movie. If you like dinosaurs, it's freaking fantastic for dinosaurs. It's a great monster movie. It has some of the most iconic scenes in any movie ever. It was this huge deal. We all loved it. It's a great movie. Don't get me wrong. I just rewatched the whole thing. Had a good time. It's Jurassic Park. What could you possibly say bad about Jurassic Park? Well, it turns out quite a lot. Let me start from the beginning. Basically, what I'm about to do is I'm going to break down two scenes and about three characters, and I'm going to basically tell you why I hate all of this combined. It just makes me so mad. And almost all of my hatred is focused on two characters, namely the kids in the movie. Fuck these kids. Fuck them. They are the worst kids in any movie ever. I hate these children. I hate them. I want them to, like, when the T-Rex first came out, I wanted these kids to die. I hate these kids. Okay? Scene where the T-Rex comes out of the paddock, alright? What, he, right. Timmy. Let's talk about Timmy. And when we first meet Timmy, one of the first things he fucking says is he read Alan's book, okay? Alan apparently wrote a book about dinosaurs, okay? Apparently this kid fucking read it. What's the one thing that everybody at the time knows about T-Rexes? Their vision is based off of movement. So don't turn on the fucking flashlight in the car creating movement, you stupid pieces of shit. Granted, it's not Timmy that actually turns on the flashlight, it's his sister, and he does tell her to turn the flashlight off. But she doesn't do it because she's an idiot too, and then they just fucking point the thing directly at the T-Rex for seconds on end, and then are surprised when the T-Rex attacks them. Fucking, you, you're an idiot! What are you doing? Put the flashlight out! Don't fucking move! God damn it! Alright, so that's fucking dumb. Right off the bat. That's fucking stupid. Stupid thing that Timmy does, number two. When he's in the tree, in the car, he doesn't say a fucking word until Alan gets the fuck up there. If you're alive and okay, say you're okay. Don't just sit there in silence, you fucking tard, because then people are going to think that you're fucking dead. Oh, you threw up? Fucking quit your bitching. Say you're alright. Timmy, you okay? No! That's a response. S something. Anything. Not nothing. You stupid child. Oh, God. All right. That's enough about Timmy for right now. We'll come back to him in a second. His sister, who I hate so much, I can't even remember what the fuck her name is. All right? She is not only situationally stupid with the flashlight, she's also actually stupid because she's like, is that a fucking meat-eating meatosaurus? Are you retarded? It's a fucking, like, it's a dinosaur. It's a carnivore. You've heard these terms said to you earlier. It's not a fucking Metasaurus. Oh, it's a cute line, though. She's just being a child. No! It's stupid. Fucking say carnivore. You're a goddamn vegetarian. You don't know what the word carnivore means? You fucking plant eating a source fucking piece of shit? God damn it. All right. So there's that as well. That just really made me upset. Uh, let's see. The kids just fucking suck in this movie so bad. It's kind of ridiculous. Ellie's not much better. I just... She bugged me. I don't know. She's just annoying most of the time. She doesn't really do much that's outwardly stupid except for the one scene that I'm about to get to, but she just kind of digs deep and upsets me. Anyway, let's get to the granddaddy of them all, the dumbest scene in the movie, trying to get the door locks back on in the central control room of the main building. Hands down, the stupidest scene in the movie. Let's fit, let's, you know, break it up. Number one, the only way to lock the doors is from a computer on the other side of the room. You don't have a fucking button next to the door to lock it. That is so back ass word fucking stupid. I can't even believe it. What fucking door that can lock doesn't have a fuck bam lock? Do you know how easy that would have been to install? No, instead apparently it's easier to have the doors tied into a fucking computer program that connects it all. Yeah, that makes it easier. Blah, blah, blah. I get it. that that's a secondary thing. Remote locking the doors is a secondary program. Not the only way to lock the doors. Okay. 
Alan is pushing on the door. Here's how doors work. You put pressure here. You have the pivot point at the other end of the door, right? You put pressure on this side of the fucking door, you're gonna do a good job. What the fuck does Ellie do? She stands here! Do you know how difficult it is to open and close a door on this side of the door? The closer you are to the pivot point, the more pressure you actually need to apply. The more difficult it is to get leverage on the door. What I'm basically saying is, in this particular scene, Ellie, standing fucking here at the door, isn't contributing to the door closing effort in the slightest. She's just meh, meh, meh. She looks like she's trying, but in reality, her, like, participation in this activity is so infinitesimally small, she's not actually accomplishing anything. And you know what she could have done then? She could have picked up the fucking gun and shot the thing in the face. <sighs> then we've got the kid, who out of nowhere is a fucking hacker. Like, oh, I hack, I'm doing this. She just offhandedly says that she knows computer shit. And she's just like, oh, I'm a hacker. First off, bullshit, you're a hacker. This is the fucking early 90s. No one's a hacker. Second of all, could your fucking mouse movements have been any slower trying to get the doors locked? Fucking hacker. She's like crawling like a grandmother trying to find her email. Oh, which pal is it? Let me just move with the mouse. Here we go. Hooray. This counts as my cardio for the day. Oh, oh, I misclicked. Oh, it's all gone. Oh, I gotta call my grandchildren. This is fucking crawling across the fucking desk. And I suppose it's for suspense or whatever, but for God's sakes, bam, done. And the frame rate of the program, oh my God. I mean, it's the early 90s, but Jesus Christ, I was crawling along. The biggest sin, the biggest problem of this fucking scene is fucking shit-faced piece of shit, Timmy, who is literally doing nothing the entire scene. He just stands at the back of her chair while she's doing computer shit and does this. Come on! You gotta do it faster! You gotta do it faster! The Raptors are coming! Oh, I don't know! I could go over and pick up the fucking gun, Timmy! You could pick up the fucking gun and shoot the fucking Raptor! You're not a contributing to the survival effort in the slightest! God damn it, you piece of shit! He's just standing there! Doing nothing! While I'm screaming at him to pick up the fucking gun! No one is that stupid! He's not doing anything! How do you not do anything? In a survival scene with a goddamn Velociraptor, all you need to do is pick up the fucking gun. You don't even have to shoot the fucking gun. You just need to give it to somebody who can shoot the fucking gun. Somebody who is also not doing anything in the scene. Oh, I don't know. How about fucking Ellie? <sighs> Oh. oh, this movie is great. It really is. It's a good movie. You know, you won't hear me say anything like that about the movie as a whole. I mean, what movie is without flaws? There isn't one. But the flaws of this movie are almost enough for me to hate this movie. What keeps this movie alive in my, like, catalog of good films is the impact it had and what it did for me in terms of loving dinosaurs. I mean, sure, it paints dinosaurs as, like, horrible monsters, but they're still super fucking cool. I mean, who doesn't like dinosaurs? It's just... If I ever see that kid in the face, I'm gonna punch him. Just straight in the face. Just, it, these are some of the worst children out of any movie I have ever seen. And, sure, granted, their reactions are probably pretty realistic. I mean, I know if I was a child in this situation, I probably wouldn't have done much better, but then somebody would have gotten mad at me for being an idiot. And, you know, these may have just been kids being kids, but that doesn't negate the fact that these kids are retarded. They are fucking stupid as hell. And it's not really their fault they were written that way. I mean, if you want to blame anybody, blame the guy that wrote the book. Although I haven't read the book, so I don't know if the kids are as stupid in the book as they are in the movie. What I can tell you without a doubt is that these kids are fucking stupid and I hate them. Like, tears of hatred that has been, like, constructed for years of my life. Like, when I first saw this movie, I hated these kids. How old is this movie? It's decades old. I hated these kids for decades. And I'm gonna hate them for the rest of my days. I hate these kids. 
They are the worst kids. Now, I wouldn't know what she's thinking. What about all the other kids in the other Jurassic Park movies? They're not much better. But these two motherfucking chuckle fucks take the goddamn cake when it comes to being a stupid kid in a dinosaur movie. Hands down. These are the worst kids. The worst kids. Lost World Kid, at least she does she does something really stupid, but at least she contributes to the fight. She fucking, like, gymnastic flip kicks a velociraptor through a plate glass window. That's stupid, but at least she did something. She kicked a velociraptor. That's kind of cool. You know? Fucking kids from Jurassic Park 3, right? There's no way in fuck that kid would have been able to survive eight weeks on a dinosaur-infested island by himself, but he did. So he clearly knows something. Give him that. And then you got the kids from Jurassic World, who are pretty annoying, have some pretty stupid moments, but still are not nearly as stupid as fucking Tim, whatever the fuck her name was. I don't even care what her name is. Fuck her. They both suck. Thank you very much for watching this week's episode of Martin Core's Movie Moment, and I hope you all enjoyed it as much as I did. I will see you all next week for another episode. Have it going, guys.